some more parts car action today. As I found out, my door lock actuator that I got in the new door isn't any good. But I know the one I have right here is. So I'm going to take this one back out. Put it back in my door. And then we're going to work some more on getting Charles new disc brakes. And we'll see what else we have in store here. We will see what else we have in store on this car. Always interesting this. Just just what's around. After some wrestling, we've got hub number one undone. I've got a couple of the brake line pieces undone for it, waiting for the other side soak and PB blaster so we can get it off, hopefully. You end up washing that door? Look better? No, I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> another day down got the car up on jacks for the time being until we can uh, get those rear hubs swapped out for Charles and then we'll be made in the shade hi mom Charles says hi to his mom again pulled my door lock actuator out that ready to go and now this is doesn't stay latched, but if anyone wants to steal anything in here, they can steal it. It's not, not a whole lot worth taking anymore, anyway. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna get back to getting back home. Back at my place. We've got Charles's car jacked up. We've got one caliper pulled so that he can paint it. And I'm gonna work on getting the other caliper pulled off here. The hose stuck up there. We're gonna have to swap the hoses out too. Um, Cause he's got some stainless steel ones. Cause if we're gonna upgrade them, we may as well go all the way. You guys hear this train? It's ridiculous. So yeah, he got some stainless steel lines for the front and the rear. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, hook these up and run them instead of these old rubbery plastic lines that suck. He's gonna be stopping hard. And now a little further through the project, I've pulled the brake lines off the front. Uh, Charles is prepping the front calipers for paint. Here's his freshly repainted rear ones from the parts car. So we're gonna keep faithfully chugging away here. I'm about to start hooking up these fresh stainless steel lines so that when we get those calipers painted and dried we can hook them right up. New slotted, drilled front rotors. I've got the stainless steel brake line hooked up on this side. It's ready to go. Charles is out putting another coat on. And then uh, while I do the other side, that's going to dry. Um, and then I'll come back over and I'll put this and the rotor back on. Um, start getting that ready to uh, get the caliper put back on. So in my foolishness, I had forgotten that GTS calipers and rotors are slightly larger than GT calipers and rotors up front. So I do have the stainless steel brake lines in there. Um, we had to put the GT rotors and calipers back on um, just until I can go back over and get the other ones pulled. Um, but we'll use the time to get them painted properly for them. Um, can't see anything on this side whatever but yeah so now we're gonna work on doing the swap back here so we'll go ahead and get this knuckle off well we've come around back took the line off knocked the hub off 
And now we're going to go do the same on the other side while Charles gets this side put back together with the pins and sliders and stuff. Rock and roll. Well, done figured out. We need slightly longer bolts to fit the hub on. Done screwed up. So, and since it's past midnight, we can't go get new ones. So, I'm going to drive Charles home, and I'm going to go get the new bolts tomorrow, and I'm going to get cracking at this again. So, yeah. Uh, we'll reconvene on this later. Gotta throw a huge shout out to uh, the new Celica forums. Specifically, um, it looks like Fivel28 <clears throat> did this write up on a GT to GTS conversion. And eight new bolts, size M10, 120, 1.2. 25 millimeter by 40 millimeter and he shows us a picture of exactly the bolts we need so without this write up we would have been confused and angry um, you know this is why some of us old heads tell you new guys you know go to the forums go to the forums um, because you know we asked on you know Facebook we asked on um, a bunch of the car groups on Facebook and you know everybody said oh yeah you should just need these things well they don't mention that you need those longer bolts too so you know we were we thought we had it and we thought we were good but as it turns out the bolts need to be just a little bit longer so um, yeah I will do a full write-up on doing this once we have everything finished. Because, yeah. It seems like I, I haven't been able to find a good video of this on YouTube either, so hopefully this will help some other people that want to swap discs onto their uh, GTs. got slotted drill rotors, GTS calipers, stainless steel brake lines all hooked up on both sides. It's beautiful, it's glorious. I ran all the e-brake cabling back up and got that all hooked up. Without having to take the center console apart. Yep, didn't have to take the center console apart, didn't mess with any of that. Um, the hookups in the center of the car underneath the uh, exhaust are the same hookup. So you can leave the front half of it alone. You just take the back half of it. Um, these e-brake lines here and uh, run them up into the, uh, the other part. 
and just since I know we've got one lying around here, yeah, it's this guy right here. So this is the same to the front. It sits like this. So this coming up is the same. So all you got to do is put them into these right here, and they'll hook in and slide back, and you've got an e-brake again. Or it's this way. Yeah, it's this way. I goofed. Yeah, so this is be facing forward. Slide in right here. Slide back. You've got an e-brake again. Yeah, yeah, I did mention it last night, but we'll mention it again. We did have to get longer bolts for the hub. Um, I got some M10... 1.25 by 50 millimeter. These guys are like 30 millimeters or something. So they need to be like there. Yeah, they've <laughs> got to be at least a half inch longer. You should get at least 40 millimeter ones. I just couldn't find any 40 millimeters, so I grabbed some 50 millimeter ones. Um, you need eight of them when you're doing the swap. But yeah. Also, the front calipers yeah are different on the gt compared to the gts so yeah so if you're you doing a, grab those two if you're changing out of rivers. yeah if you're going to swap to the full gts swap you're going to want to grab the front calipers and rotors as well um because right now charles has got the regular rotors up front and slotted rotors in the back until we go over and take those other front calipers and give them some time to paint them just got done bleeding the brakes. There's a million videos online for YouTube on how to do that. I'm not really going to go over how to bleed your brakes. It's pretty straightforward. Um, everything's hooked up. We are just going to throw on the last of the uh, tires here, wheels and tires. And then we're going to go give it a test drive and see how it feels with stainless lines and fresh rear discs. We're in a stopping GT that has disc brakes on it and stainless lines. It's really quite a thing of beauty. Waiting for my camera to die any second, but uh, <laughs> you know what? That's okay, because it's still recording. And, I mean, the car's not moving. It's in drive. It is in drive currently. <laughs> so, I mean... Yeah. Kelso did this recently. Looks great. Just stuck some fabric in there. I really like it. It's gonna keep it themed for all the different holidays. Right now it's got Halloween ones in there. Halloween zombie pinup girls fantastic off the brakes and away we go had to move a couple of the backing plates back off of the uh, rotors a little bit yeah sounds good now. but yeah I don't, I don't hear anything else. Oh, oh there's Schwabs. Another stop. Yeah, there's Schwabs. Good rule of thumb. <laughs> they do free brake tests. Yeah. So if you're going to do your own brakes, why not stop there when you're done and make sure you did it right? Right, right. They'll check your brakes for free. So, you know, it's probably worth stopping in and making sure you've done an, an okay job. We'll be seeing you soon, Schwabs. We're not sponsored by Schwabs or anything. We just like Schwabs. <laughs>